today we went uh, we went there at about 2:30 to meet uh, Dato Hadiho and his deputy Dato Mazlan. Another officer was there. I I can't uh, get his name. So we discussed about uh, my son's matter, and uh, Dato Hadiho has give uh, give an assurance saying that uh, uh, he almost reaching the uh, investigation to complete. Then uh, he will get the culprit. He no matter no how, no however he will get whoever it is he will get the person the culprit he will get the culprit whether uh, any gangster reserve or anybody else he will get the culprit and uh, produce to the justice. So he has given the assurance and Mr. Gobi was with me and uh, we both of us went there. So I'm I'm very proud of it to discuss with him and I am very happy and I have a full confidence I have a full confidence that uh, with our Malaysian police to go to the bottom and catch, catch all this uh, culprit. Uh, Dato Hadio assured us that he is personally looking into the matter and uh, he actually update, updated us about the investigation and then we also actually gave him some information about some things that we know about this incident which I cannot divulge because I think it will actually uh, disrupt investigation. But there are some pertinent points that we actually have raised to the police, to Dato Hadio. Number one is uh, the report made by Sanjeevan back in January about uh, a threatening call from the Jalubu police station, from the landline from the police station to Sanjeevan when he was exposing a gambling syndicate where he was threatened that he will be shot down. And Sanjeevan made a police report and uh, we saw after that the statement by Dato Osman, the CPO of Naju Sumbilan, saying that uh, they have investigated and they have given to the DPP office and it is now classified as no further action, NFA. No, we are very baffled because who else can call from a police station if not the policeman? And Dr. Hadiho actually brought the file, he had the file with him. He actually had the file about the cases submitted or lodged by Sanjeevan. He actually read the case to us and said, they could not find who is the person but after we stressed to him that you know we suspect you see the reason why we suspect the police is involved in the shooting of Sanjeevan is because of this and after we stressed that to him he has promised that they will revisit the case now they will revisit the case and they will reopen the investigation paper on this particular case because I suspect we suspect it might be related of course we want the police to investigate all angles it could be anybody for that matter and even Dato Adi has actually assured that uh, he will investigate this from all angles including the, whether the policeman is involved or gangsters are involved so from all angles lah. so that he has assured number two the point that we have raised to him see when we went to the hospital during the surgery we saw that there was about six policemen from Negri Sumbilan who actually entered the operation theater and as far as I know, it is not allowed. So I raised this to Dato Adio. According to Dato Adio, this cannot be done. According to him, the policeman cannot enter. But this is a jurisdiction of the hospital. And he said, if that really happened, they have to hold the hospital director accountable. Because according to him, it cannot be done. They cannot actually enter. But he also asked us to check whether they actually entered the operation theatre or was there a holding a holding room from where they can view the surgery that we are not sure you know we will check that but if it's true if it is true that they actually enter the operation data then it's a violation now if that really happened we will actually follow up with a complaint to the ministry of health because i don't think anybody should be allowed inside the operation data so these are the main thing you know, we, we are very happy that you know there's a serious attention to the case uh, you know until dr hadio is personally looking at it he even actually was holding, even had the video clip or CCTV clip when Sanjeevan was actually assaulted in a hotel in KL Central. He had that uh, clip. So that shows that he's really seriously looking into the matter. You know, we want to help the police, but we hope the police also will actually help us. In fact, I have uh, personally SMS to the Excellency <coughs> to ask, uh, ask him to investigate thoroughly and uh, to uh, catch all the culprit IGP. and IGP, and uh, then uh, the IGP has uh, replied to me 
uh, you will see it that uh, truly and fairly they will investigate. Uh, please believe me, Mr. Rama, and he has replied to me. So Since then, uh, then also I told him <coughs> that I th I want this matter to be handled by Bukit Aman. I don't want this matter to be handled by any more by Negrisimran police or Jampol police. Uh, so he yeah, assured that the uh, Bukit Aman has taken over the matter and uh, by help of this uh, Negrisimran and uh, they will go into the uh, investigation.